Hello and welcome to ZAPR.com. SAP has been evolving and innovating at lightning speed. And today we have rapid app development, app app on cloud, SAP BTP and whatnot. But in whatever innovation SAP comes up with, there is one fundamental service which will be needed for all integrations and that is OData services. So, if you do not know OData services, you will be lacking one basic skill set in this modern SAP world. If you are one of those developers who still needs to brush up or master building OData services in SAP, then we have the right course curated for you. Whether you want to start your OData learning or you want to get more comfortable with OData development and master it, you should join this A to Z of SAP OData services training without second thoughts. We will commence the session with OData overview. We will understand SAP Gateway concepts. We will check some sample OData service and some sample UI5 application where OData services are used. We will understand the entity data model and see our UDQ operations. With good fundamentals and concepts in previous session, we will go to a transaction code SECW and create our first OData project. We will create a structure along with the header entity and entity sets. We will generate runtime artifacts which are nothing but the famous DPC and MPC classes. DPC stands for Data Provider Class and MPC stands for Model Provider Class. We will then register and maintain our first custom OData service. Next, the trainer will showcase the CRUDQ operations to method mapping and implement read and query operations. Finally, we will test and debug the SAP OData service and understand the architecture and flow of data with hands-on experience. Next, we will play around with the query options in OData services. We will understand the URA for filter, sorting, paging, select, etc. We will let the participants learn all the tricks of implementing these operations in backend. Create, update and delete operations are the bread and butter of SAP OData consultants. We will implement all these operations with easy examples and gradually moving to complex real project scenarios and test these operations hands on. Associations and navigation are important topics in SAP NetWeaver Gateway, which needs some time and practice to master. We will create item entity and then showcase the association and navigation properties with good practical examples. We will implement the association and check the flow of data in debug mode to add more clarity. Error handling is another under hype topic which is ignored in most training. In our course, we will talk in details about the HTTP response codes. We will check the different transaction codes to analyze the error log. We will also learn how to trace and handle OData services exception. Our expert trainer will also show the cache cleanup process and some practical problems which we face in real SAP projects. Usually in trainings, only the happy path are covered. But at ZAPR, we want to provide holistic education. We will learn how to handle the data with hierarchy, that is data with header and item, and also data with peep structures. We will do some hands-on exercises on dollar expand. We will also cover multiple levels of hierarchy and create deep entity. Just like we can create SAP web services from SAP function modules, similarly SAP OData services can be created from SAP functions. We will perform the function imports and implement and test the OData services created by function import. Next, we will cover service generator and redefinition. We will check the RFC and BOR generator. We will showcase search help generator and finally we will redefine OData services. Handling of locking mechanism and taking care of security is an advanced topic which we need to take care in all SAP OData projects. Our trainer will teach the participants how to use e-tag using timestamp field. He will also help the participants understand the e-tag payload. He will clarify the XCSRF token concept and he would use the postman tool to read and post the data from and to the SAP backend. Media handling is another topic which all ABAP developers working in OData projects have to perform. We will understand what media handling is. We will do some practical exercises on stream methods. We will learn the usage of dollar value in URI. We will also learn how to handle smart forms as PDF to UI. This will be one of the very important topics covered in this course. Participants need to be extra attentive to take maximum advantage of this instructor-led life online training. There is wrong notion among developers that OData is only used for real-time interactions. No, OData services are also used for batch management. We will understand the need and solution for batch management. We will perform hands-on with dollar batch. We will check and analyze dollar batch payload syntax and perform CRUD operations using dollar batch. Many a times we have project requirement to park or draft the documents. In this training, we will learn how to manage the draft with SEGW services. With ABAP 7.4 and more so with HANA, 
Core Data Services had taken the hot seat. In this course, we will talk briefly about the CDS and then we will learn how to map CDS to SECW services. We will also learn how to create core data services using CDS annotation and then we will do some quick hands on using CDS and BOPF. This will be a very interesting session which the participants should not miss. By now, we would have already covered draft management in SAP OData. In the final day, we will learn how to manage draft using CDS and the similarities, differences, advantages and disadvantages of handling the draft in traditional way and by using CDS. Before we wrap up the course, our expert trainer will provide a detailed learn path for next topics. He will provide the claims and importance of restful application programming and also UI5 development. Trust us, this will be an action-packed deep dive training on SAP OData service. We are positive. We will surely help all our participants to not only become comfortable with SAP Audita services but also master the topic. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first year of the training is on September 3rd, 2022 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So, if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live class. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. The payment of fee and enrollment process should be completed by 26th of August 2022. The link to enroll for this training and pay the course fee is in the description section of this video. There will be 10 classes in total. For some reasons, if you are not able to join the live classes some days, do not worry. Recordings of the class will be uploaded at our training page and the participants will have lifetime access to those recordings. We will do all hands-on exercises with S4HANA 1909 as the backend. Server access will be provided till October 31st, 2022 and it is included in the training fee. Participants do not need to pay extra for the server access. If you still have any queries questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mailzapiat at the rate of gmail.com or mail at the rate of zapiat.com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day. Thank you.